Here are my three lenses I use for all my filmmaking with the X-H2S. Okay, so the first lens we're gonna get into is the Viltrox 13mm 1.4. Now, as I've said in a previous video, I learned about this lens from Cine Dailies, a guy called Joshua, all the way in the States. He's part of a team called Sunny16 and also Moment. They're a brilliant group of people, always giving me and I imagine loads of others great tips on lenses, filmmaking, photography, etc. And Joshua from Sunny16 is heavily into using the XH2S and he highly recommended this Filtrox 13mm. Obviously a wide angle. This covers all my wide angle shots and the aperture is at 1.4 so I'm letting in a lot of light considering this is an APS-C sensor so it's not full frame but with the 1.4 aperture I'm getting a lot of light in. It feels like a native lens. The autofocus is great, the build quality, the sharpness in the photos. This is as I've said before in previous videos one of my favorite lenses. I'll link you here for that video but as I said this is a great lens and I've paired it with the KNF ND filter particularly for video but if you have any recommendations on filters I'd be really interested to hear that so a great lens one that I would highly recommend the second lens I would like to talk about is the Sigma 18 to 35 mil 1.8 now this isn't a native lens this is paired with a Fringer EFFX Pro 2 adapter. When you buy the Sigma 18-35, it is built for a Canon system. So you need to get an adapter to make sure the mount fits the Fuji X-H2S, if that's what you've got. If you've got a Canon, then I would go ahead and buy one of these lenses. This is the second time I bought this lens. I first bought this a couple of years ago for mm, no more than that with the Canon 80D. So it's so good I bought it twice, I know. But the Fringer EF FX Pro 2 adapter is fantastic. I really don't feel like there's no jiggle in there. I know previous adapters have been criticized, but I would say so far so good. The only cons to this lens is it is a bit weighty. It's slightly noisy when it's trying to grab focus. Who uses internal microphones on their camera body anyway? So that's easily fixable. But the build quality feels nice. And it's definitely one of my favorite pairings. This probably, this setup stays on my X-H2S probably the most. And I'll probably do most of my commercial, corporate, and kind of my home work with this. So this is a perfect lens if you're willing to buy the adapter. Everything I have here is linked in the description. Go check out and find out for yourself. eBay is also a really good place to look if you don't want to buy new. But this, I think of the three, is one that I would recommend the most. The sharpness, the quality, is just unparalleled. Well, I would also say for both these, the Viltrox and the Sigma are on its own without the adapter are very reasonably priced. So what's not to love? Go check it out. So the last lens is the 50 to 140 Fuji X-Mount lens. This is fantastic, also essential, I don't use this the most, but when I need it, it really comes in handy. If I'm shooting, say, a wedding, or I do a lot of work in woodland and forestry places, this lens is always got my back. It has optical in-body st stabilization, and the build quality is great. I bought this second hand, but again, I've linked it in the description below if you wanna buy it new, but I would suggest always trying to buy your lenses second hand. They very rarely depreciate, so they still will be quite high, but you're gonna get, I think, good lens here. It's an essential lens for me in the work that I do. Don't use it as much as the other two, but my God, it's a great lens and a perfect pairing again with the X-H2S. So when it comes to filmmaking, these are my three lenses. The Viltrox 13mm 1.4, the Sigma 18-35 1.8 with the Bringer adapter and the 50-140 to telephoto zoom lens. These lenses cover all of my work. So this isn't for everyone, but it works for me. I'd love to know what you work with when pairing any of these with the X-H2S, which I still haven't given my initial thoughts on this, but so far pretty good. This is a fantastic system. I'm really enjoying working with it. 
it is a bit pricey but I do think you get your bang for your buck and with these three lenses I mean I for the moment I would say I'm pretty set up give me your thoughts in the comment below I've linked them all in the description as I said go do some research go check eBay someone might be selling one of these cheaper than what I bought it which would be great for the moment these are my three this is the holy trinity <laughs> For my filmmaking let me know again as i always say in the comments and let's make some waves i'll see you in the next one